Len Brown, Brown's Custom Tree and Saddle, Black Mesa Trees, and uh, Black Mesa Custom Saddles by Len Brown. And believe me, I have help. I cannot do all this by myself. <laughs> I do the, the basic design work on the tree. I do all the pattern work on the saddle. And uh, this is the lightning grip, which we're going to talk about, show you. The lightning grip is not heavy. It has a nice channel down the center like I put in all my saddles. This Gives you a little closer contact to the horse. It keeps you off the horse's vertebra wherever. You're looking at it on the pad made for the lightning grip. And this is, uh, I haven't even measured this saddle. The measure's right here. 14 and a half, almost, to the top of the seat right there. And if we measure right here, measures 10 inches, which means you lose a half inch in the build. This is the actual measurement of the seat of the saddle. 10 inches is a 14. The other thing that we were measuring here is the curvature in this fork. If we eliminated the curvature I have in the fork, we'd be right there, and guess what? We'd be a 14 right to here. So I put the curvature in the barrel fork whether it's the lightning grip or the pocket, which has even more curve. Put it there to get the horn forward so you can get a hold of it. This is the DM8 horn. This is a 5P, which is smaller. This is a 12 inch seat. And it's gonna give you a saddle much smaller than this one, obviously. When we have a smaller rider, usually we put a smaller horn right here so that they can get forward without getting in the way of the horn. So we have a number of different horns. Okay, this is not a uh, DM-8. This is a uh, number four, a DM-4 horn, OD-4 horn, which is a short cutting horn is what that is basically, I think. It doesn't lean forward quite as much as a DM-8 but it's hard to tell. Okay, back to the pocket. This is American Buffalo. It makes his seat jockey very soft. It is what's underneath the skirting leather, which is kept relatively thin. It's flexible. The Buffalo is very tough, but it's flexible. And uh, I put the cutouts in it because it's rough. But amazingly, these points do not rub your leg. We've never had a complaint on that. It's that when you do rough out in a seat jockey, which we still make these with a the rough out, by the way, especially in a natural leather, we can do it with a brown leather, but it comes out a lighter color than what the finished brown leather does. Most barrel racers like it like this because this gives you the grip, as we call the saddle. And it's very secure keeps you in quite well. It's got a pretty high candle on it. We have to tilt it back enough so that it does not hit you in the lower back. This is one of the problems with deep seats and a tall candle. If it's too steep, it's horribly uncomfortable ride if you lean back. The uh, rigging on this saddle is a three slot, like we use on a number of our other saddles. You're working off the center. It goes right up through here, which is about a seven-eighths. And a three-quarter would be a little further back. You have a front slot that sets forward of a forward rigging. That means if your saddle slides too far forward, you go to the girth a couple of times off here, snug it as much as you can, go through here, through the girth buckle again, and buckle up. It will hold your saddle back. That's what this is made for. The rear slot will pull it forward. If you're on a big horse with big shoulders and it wants to scoot too far back, then you can pull forward with a rear slot. This fender is uh, relatively narrow, and you'll notice the end of the strap comes straight down from here. 
it's not a fender that is an offset with a strap coming out of out of here and the top of the strap moves way back of where the center of it is. So there's little offset. I see a little offset here, but there is very little. It's a thin enough fender this way to keep from having too much of it. it swings out here, comes back in here. It has the stirrup strap loop, as you see here, which keeps you from having to bump and keeps a narrower waist while you still run a reasonably wide gun. These bars are my Futurity Cutter bars. This saddle has a 7-inch gullet on the bear tree. So, gives you an idea. The measurement here is an inch more than the pocket. Down here, it's an inch wider than the pocket. Does it make it work that much different? You're looking at it on the same horse, and you can view the pocket here. You contact us there. A little more flare to the bar right here. A lot of room right here. So we've given you a little more, a lot more room up here. We always have the contact down here. This tree is just a touch wider than the pocket. It isn't going to make too much difference as far as the way it performs. Very good bar I made in the late 90s for futurity cutting horses with a lot of twist. The twist giving you the hourglass shape and the seat that makes the one comfortable ride. You can see this bar as it radically twists like this. That is that it's becoming steeper as we go forward. The literal pattern work is in the bar here. The bar is what makes all the difference in how the tree works on the horse. Use a common straight bar that has no twist. We'd be winging out down here and we'd be pinching up here. Heck, with the gullet width, it wouldn't make any difference. That's what happens with a bar that doesn't have twist and is set at a 45 degree angle. This is a much steeper angle than that. The base seat gives it a ton of strength. These are lifetime guaranteed. As you can see, the horn is the base is heavily screwed and mounted and then fiberglass encased. That is fiberglass cloth and resin and some filler fiberglass, strands of glass in a putty that we made to do that. Very strong. This particular pocket has the uh, rope laced edge on the Cheyenne roll. It has some tooling on the Cheyenne roll to match the diamond cut tooling on the rest of the saddle. The brown one has become pretty popular. Some people still buy the natural and get the rough out right here. But uh, rough out anywhere else doesn't really do you anything because it's all moving anyway. I hope you've enjoyed the basics on the pocket. The most popular barrel saddle we have, some people ride it for everything. Any of these saddles have with the channel, with the comfort that you have, with the security you have, can be used for anything. Thank you very much, Len Brown.